problem number 22 find the value of r and the current flowing through it in the circuit given below when the current in the branch oa is zero so first we need to find r so r value that is a branch current of co and next we have to find the current flowing through it so from the figure we can see that the current flowing through r is nothing but a2 so we have to find this two r and i2 so they also given that the branch current of oa is zero so there is no current flowing here so uh, first we will uh, indicate that the branch current of ba is i1 and bo is i2 so then we will use Kirchhoff of uh, first law that is current law uh, applying this law to the junctions of b a o we will write the current flowing so from c b the current is i1 plus i2 it will split to i1 in branch b a i2 to branch b o as there is no current flowing from a a to o the i1 will flow to branch a c and again o to c will be i2 and the summation to branch c and b so this using applying catch off to the catch off first law to all the nodes then let's use the catch off second law for all the loops that is the old age law first we will take this law and write the equation that is minus 4i plus 0 as the branch current is 0 the voltage will also be voltage drop will also be 0 plus as it is the current is opposing it will be plus 1 into i2 further simplifying we will get equation 1 that is i2 is equal to 4 times i1 next we will write the second loop which of voltage second loop that is minus 1.5 uh, i1 plus as it is opposing we will write plus r i2 so is equal to 0 so we got two equations equation 1 and equation 2 so we will simplify this one equation number 1 in equation 2 when we simplify equation number 1 in equation 2 this is what we get and further simplification we will get r value so r is nothing but 0.375 ohms so we have found out r the value of r and we have to find the current flowing through that resistor so next we have left one more loop loop so we will also apply the catch of second law here so when we apply minus 1.5 into i1 plus i2 plus 10 minus 1.1 1 i2 minus r i i2 is equal to 0 so here we know the value of r i2 so this is the value of r and i2 so we will apply this in this equation and further some simplification we will finally get i1 value once we get the i1 value we will substitute in equation number one once we substitute that is nothing but i2 is nothing but four times i1 so we will multiply this into four we will get 3.1 times that is the final answer so we got the value of r and the current flowing through the resistance that is the resistor that is i2 is 3.1 amps